Do you have a keen interest in stocks and investment? Want to work as the big bull? If yes, then stay with us till the end and don't forget to like and share. Also, before we start, please do subscribe to our channel for more awesome content that will help you make those bucks easily. If you have always wished to invest, like the great Warren Buffett, you don't have to do something out of the box. In fact, most new investors are shocked at how uncomplicated Warren's style of investment is. To put it all in one line, Warren invests in above average businesses and trades for less than their intrinsic value and then keeps a hold on these investments only till they are known as great businesses. Of course, there is a lot more to the concept than this. In this video, we will be telling you about the investment styles of Buffett, fill you with some real life examples of how Warren applied his investment philosophy and acknowledge you with the stocks he invests and does not invest in. So don't miss this out. About Warren Buffett. The Oracle of Omaha is a nickname given to the living legend Warren Edward Buffett, who was born in 1930. Warren Buffett is a business magnate from America and an investor. He is the chairman and chief executive officer of Berkshire Hathaway. He puts in an active effort for promoting human welfare, and now that's an example of a person, both with smartness and kindness. He's so compassionate, is not he? He is said to be among the most successful investors globally. He graduated from Columbia Business School, where he shaped his investment philosophy near the concept of value investing pioneered by Benjamin Graham. He went to the New York Institute of Finance for focusing on his economics background and soon after started several business partnerships, also the one with Graham. In 1956, he made Buffett Partnership, Limited and his firm in the end obtained a textile manufacturing firm known as Berkshire Hathaway, making an assumption that its name would create a diversified holding company. This role model has a net worth of about $109.5 billion as of January 2022, which makes him the ninth wealthiest human in the world. Is not that crazy? No one knows the exact way how he makes his research investments, because a lot of Warren's investment workings is proprietary. However, we have brought the best for you. Now you will listen to the top 8 essential investing principles of Buffett that one can incorporate into their own strategies. Number 8. Research and Reflect Warren Buffett spends long daytime in his office, located in Omaha, Nebraska regularly. However, this fact is surprising and hard to believe that he spends most of his time reading and sitting solo or doing nothing. He insists on very much time being regularly invested, just to sit and have a thinking process. He looks at knowledge as a thing that compounds over time, and he possesses a strong belief that enough amount of his success could be ascribed to collecting as much knowledge of investment as possible. Number 7. Learning about the basics of value investing. Warren Buffett is extensively known to be the most great value investor globally. Making payments for less amounts for investments relative to their intrinsic values is prioritized by value investing. Value investors like Warren Buffett have an expectation that the market will in the end recognize the entire value of a stock at present undervalued company, causing an increase in the stock price of the company and value investors profit. Number 6. Don't be scared to sell if the scene changes. When someone asked Buffett about an investment, he declared to be sold at a loss. He said that the most necessary action to take is to stop digging if you find yourself in a hole. While Warren honestly wishes to own each and every stock he purchases forever, the reality is that perspectives change. It might be surprising, but some decades ago, Warren Buffett bought a huge post in mortgage agency Freddie Mac. Some years prior to the financial crisis, he observed that the management of lenders had begun to take risks that were not important with the capital of the company and decided to sell. Some years later, when the financial difficulties hit, it looked obvious that the Oracle of Omaha had made an intelligent move. Number 5. Have an approach to your investments with a mindset of long term. One of the most effective lines said by Buffett on investing is, if you are not willing to own a stock for 10 years, do not even have the thought of owning it for 10 minutes. He does not select stocks only because he thinks their rates will increase this week or even by this year ending. He has a plan to own those businesses for a longer duration because he is buying stocks. He still frequently sells stocks for several reasons, but approaches his majority investments with the mindset of owning them for an everlasting period. If you are not able to be comfortable in a forever mindset with your stocks, 
Warren has said that a set it and forget it investment is the best investment majority of people can do, like an S&P 500 index fund. Number 4. Never fear market crashes and corrections. The common and primary goal of stock investing is to own it less and sell it high. However, human tendency can force us to go the direct opposite. When we watch our all friends making money, that's the time when we feel as we must put our money in. And there is a crash in stock markets. We tend to come out before rates decrease anymore. Warren loves it when stock prices come down as it builds opportunities to purchase at a discount. If you happen to go shopping at your best loved store and instantly came to know that the prices at the whole store were 20% less, would you get worried and run away? Of course not, right? Warren embraces discounts on the stocks that are his favorite and says that chances enter infrequently. When it rains gold, keep out the bucket and not the thimble. Number three, do not follow a crowd. Here is one more point of advice by Buffett that is highly important for beginners. Do not purchase selected stocks only because others are purchasing them. But also don't work to be a contrarian, always and sell the stocks that others are buying. As Warren works, the best method for investing is to ignore the group and concentrate on finding value on your own. Buffett says that the most necessary investor's quality is temperament, not intellect. One needs a temperament that neither derives massive pleasure from staying with the group, nor against the group. Number two, concentrate on quality. Buffett does not make his investments in the junk. You will never see him purchasing businesses that are struggling, no matter how cheap they happen to be. One of the best lines by Warren is that it is much better to own a fantastic company at a fair rate than a fair company at a wonderful rate. Number one, go for a margin of safety. A cornerstone of the investment philosophy of Warren is keeping a margin of safety at first. In easy words, a margin of safety says about the investment's characteristics that may help for protecting investors from losing dollars. The asset's intrinsic value must prevent the stock price of the company from declining very significantly. Warren's aim is always to pay low than the intrinsic value of a company. He once said that a very high buying rate for an excellent company's stock could undo the results of a following decade of favorable business progress. Stocks that Warren Buffett invests in the stock profile of Berkshire Hathaway is worthy of hundreds of billions of dollars, and Warren himself chose the majority of the stocks. While the portfolio of Berkshire's holds over four to five various stock positions, nearly 70% of the value of the portfolio is focused on only four stocks. Here is more knowledge about all these top holdings. Number one, Apple. The stock of the tech giant is the most large holding in the portfolio of Berkshire Hathaway. By a margin that's wide, Berkshire owns 5.5% of stocks of Apple, which was worth $150 billion plus as of 2021 end. Warren loves Apple not only for its more loyal customer base, but also for its power of pricing and leadership of the highest quality. Number two, Bank of America. Berkshire is the owner of 12.6% of the stock of Bank of America, and it was the second largest company's investment in stocks next to Apple. Warren Buffett is a huge fan of the bank's management team and Brian Moynihan, Bank of America's CEO. Bank of America is an amazing dividend stock also, gives priority to share buybacks, and has developed at one of the speedier prices in recent years in its peer group. Number 3. American Express the company has holdings of 19.1% of American Express stock, over $25 billion. That is among Berkshire's most significant investments by percentage proprietorship. Warren loves the precious brand name of the company and that it works together as a network of payment and lenders in its transactions. For that reason, American Express stock has stayed a part of the portfolio of Berkshire for 30 years. Stocks that Warren Buffett does not invest in this great man stays away from investments that he does not understand well, which is why you will not find much high-growth technology firms or biotech stocks in the portfolio of Berkshire Hathaway. They are not indeed worse businesses or overvalued, but Warren is aware of where his strengths of stock picking flow. One last takeaway is that only because Warren chooses to stay away from a specific industry or sector it does not tell that you have to also. You can make investments like Warren Buffett through sticking to what you are able to understand. And here we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Which investing strategy by Warren Buffett have you liked the most? Let us know in the comment box and do share this video. Stay tuned till the following video. Goodbye.